What's up guys, it's Shining ev 123 back again with some more of my Pokemon X playthrough. Last time we explored part of the Glittering Cave and in this episode I'm hoping to explore the rest of it. So let's just... Thank you for healing my Pokemon. But let's, uh, let's go exploring. I think this is actually the right way we're supposed to go. I'm not too sure, but we're going to get into a trainer battle anyway, so let's do it. Okay. Tourist Mo Monami? Monami? I don't know. These tourists have weird names to me. And here's a Nido Arena. So, I guess I should go over to McLeod? Oh yeah, by the way, I've been thinking of changing my X upload dates. I'm still going to keep it on a Thursday, but I don't know if I should change the one on Saturday to Sunday. Then I get like, a break in between, but I'm not too sure yet. I might just keep it as it is, and then I have to upload three days in a row, but I might change the upload date of X from Saturday to Sunday, so if, if at any point in this playthrough you no longer start, you no longer see X on um, Sundays, or oh, sorry, on Saturdays, it'll probably be up on the Sunday, because I would have changed my mind about my upload date. But we got that money! Alright. Anyway, um, let's grab this black belt. That actually increases the power of fighting type moves. So that's pretty decent. I want to. S oh, there isn't anything down this way. All right. So we'll head down here, and it's you. So we get the TM seven E Flash. This is. I think this is the latest in any Pokemon game that we get that TM. Yeah, I'm not. Dealing with this right now. Escape rope. I've always wondered how escape ropes actually work. Because there's no way they're like that big in real life, surely. But, um... No, I'm going to keep um, Sylveon up front, I think. For this black belt. Just because. Battle! Just because. Why not? Black Belt Igor has sock or sock if you're American. Sylveon, I think over the time of this playthrough, Sylveon is gonna move up in my eyes as an evolution. I mean, I do still prefer some other evolutions over Sylveon because it hasn't been out as long and I haven't had as much time to get used to it. But Sylveon is actually very good in competitive play. And yet, I haven't used it on Showdown yet. Or in one of my Showdown battles, I should say. Because I have used it on Showdown. Just not... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Not on screen. On my videos, I should say. So, I'm trying to figure out... I'm still trying to figure out, by the way, why Sylveon... Gains experience so quickly, and there's a psychic guy up here. So I'm going to move horns to the front. Because why not? Ooh. See, this is the thing with the mirrors. The trainers all face the mirrors, or at least a few of them do. And if you walk behind them, they battle you. And that can be very misleading. If you forget you're in the glittering cave. But, okay. But I like battling anyone anyway, so it's not a big deal. How did you avoid my leech seed? 
You could have just said the attack missed. It would have been made my life a little bit easier, but okay. Whatever. The Leech Seed is going to hit this time. Chimeco. I don't like Chimeco. For some reason, I f think Chimeco should have been Psychic and Steel instead of... Instead of just Psychic type. As well as its pre-evolution, Chingling, I think they should have been Psychic Steel type. I don't know why, I just think it's a very... That would have been a very good, unique typing. Well, not unique, because obviously Beldum's evolution line has it as well. But I think it would have been quite fun to have... Like, a wannabe... Chi um, Metagross. Of Gen 3. I'm going to use a Super Potion, because... I don't want to risk anything. Uproar again, okay. The fact that a Super Potion doesn't actually heal my Pokemon all the way is now a little worrying but no it's fine I still have leech seeds so I'm good and yeah it is 34 that um, Skiddo evolved so we're not as close as I was hoping but we're getting there and go let sweet um let's give shell shock some action Knock knock, you're about to get shell shocked. Oh yeah. That's a quote from the uh well it's not a quote from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, but it is from the song used in the title screen, so or used at the in the credits I should say. So Hey, fun for that. Good times. You! I still have Skiddo up front, but okay. Let's just get into this. Taurus Haruto. Again, with these Taurus, have a very, very weird names. Nidorino! Ah, uh, Nidorino. My favorite of the two Nidoran evolutions. I'm just gonna switch horns out into McLeod, forget it. I'm gonna hard swap out. I really wish McCloud was a Delphox by now because then we'd get stab psychic moves instead of just super effective psychic moves. But no, we're just gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. Okay, you didn't poison me, that's good. And use Ember for the kill. And there goes Taurus Haruto. Uh, is there anything? Is there really nothing over here? What a waste of my time. Oh, is that a double battle? I don't want to run into that just yet. I want to grab this item. This Hyper Potion. Alright, let me make sure I have... Shell Shock and McLeod up front. Because they are my two weakest Pokemon right now, and they're my oldest two team members, <laughs> which is very, very strange. Yeah. Honeymooners, okay. You and Amy. See, Amy is a normal name, but not spelt like that. Really, you have Combi and Vespaquen. Ha, ah, you've got a Mel Combi. No wonder you haven't got a Vespaquen. Okay, I'm gonna water pulse the cone bee and I'm gonna ember the Vesper Queen. Most useless Pokemon in the world, a male cone bee. And of course, a male. Um... Oh, what's the Lazarus pre evolved? Yikes! But at least I know both of my Pokemon outspeed the thing, so hopefully these two attacks are enough to take it out. Oh, sweet! Didn't even need to. 
All right, there we go. And um, I need to heal now, don't I? I don't want to waste a high proportion. I'm going to use that HP up. Yeah, go on. I'll use it on horns. Forget it. I'm going to use a super potion. Forget it. It won't heal me all the way, but it should be fine. Because I don't want to waste my hyper potions. Oh, yay. Grab this item. An iron. Sweet. And, uh, do I want to battle that guy yet? Yes, I do. And I'm gonna quickly move. No, I'm gonna leave Shell Shock up front. Let's go. Emil. Or is it Emma? Oh, okay, he wasn't a psychic, he was an ace trainer. But either way, I'm happy with what I have out front. Ha, I'm not using a non-attacking move anyway. I'm using waterfalls. You thought you could play me? Oh, that did nothing. That did nothing. Okay. You you asked for it. I mean, I was going to go easy on you, but no, I'm going to. And um, my Sylveon on here, and I'm gonna draining kiss. You can taunt all you like. You're just giving me a free hit. Goodbye. And that should, if Sylveon gains experience as quick as it has been doing, that should get us up a level. There we go. Sylveon has very quickly become our strongest team member. I'm not teaching Misty Terrain. You can forget that. But yeah, Sylveon's quickly become our strongest team member. Pinsir! I know who I'm going to. I'm going to McLeod, because McLeod can take out a Pinsir. Actually, Pinsir is definitely one of my favorite Bugs-type Pokemon. And, you know, I would definitely love to... Oh my god, that did so much. But, uh, yeah, if I could find Pinsir, I would definitely have loved to have used one. But I think... I can't remember if it's exclusive to X or Y. I think it is exclusive to X. If I'm not mistaken, and but you know, it's Mega Revolution looks amazing and shiny, like it really, really does. And I'm, yeah, I want to. I forget which way we're supposed to go from here. Oh no! I was I, okay, so I wasn't supposed to go that way. Jeez! Now I've got to go all the way back around. I'm probably gonna cut this out. Actually, no, because it doesn't take that long. Oh my god. Okay, so I definitely wasn't supposed to go that way. Let's go down here and see where this leads us. Oh my god. All these potions I'm wasting, and I know exactly what that item is. No, I don't. Never mind. If the Earth Plate is not the plate I want, was looking for. There is a tunnel here. TM seventy four gyro ball. Okay, I'll take it. There is another doorway here. 
Okay, this this room has significance later on, but not right now. And yeah, there is a shortcut, which is great. But nothing's as great as wild Pokemon interrupting you mid-sentence, am I right? Yes, yeah, so let's spray another repel. And head back up here. And that means we were supposed to go this way. Keep in mind, it has been a while. And there's the exit, guys. Wow, okay. But keep in mind, it has been a while since I've played this game, so... If I get lost, you know why. But there's the sand dial. That's pretty sweet. So a water pulse will easily kill the thing. And a digger's bee. I'm staying in. I think this is our first time battling Diggersby, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think wasn't Diggersby very good in competitive battling in 6th gen? I think it was. I think it was used quite a bit, was it not? At least we got the confusion with the water pulse. Oh yeah, you hit yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Alright, I'm gonna bite. But there goes a Diggersby. And the Webble, I'm staying in again. I like Dwebble. Dwebble is definitely one of my preferred bug types. Just because of how good it is, like how bulky it is, it can have the sturdy ability. Combined with Rock Polish or Shell Smash, very, very good. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And we can move this boulder as a shortcut to the other side if you want to somehow... For whatever reason, go back. We now have a shortcut. And what are you? She talks about Landorus and stuff. We've been over there, we don't need to go back. And so, that is it. And we are out of the Glittering Cave. And welcome to Shala Shalo City. The music here is awesome. Let me just shut up for a sec so you guys can listen. That's definitely going to be one of my preferred themes in this game. Anyway, I'm going to heal. So Mr. Bonding's actually in the Pokemon Center this time. So he'll give you O powers in here, I think. Or is this Mr. Yeah, it is. All right, so Mr. Bonding is in the Pokemon Center this time. Critical power increases hit critical hit ratio. Oh, well, yeah. Now let's explore the city a little bit. An Eviolite, oh yeah, that's going to be helpful. That is exactly what we want. Speaking of Eviolite, what do you guys think of that as like a fan name kind of thing? Because Sinnoh Green has his Sinnoh Stars. Shady Penguin has the Shady People. The King Nappy has the Nappy Nation. So what do you think of being the Eviolites? I don't know, it occurred to me once. And... Let me pass! You fat hiker! Okay, we'll head that way later on, but right now, I just want to explore the city a little bit while we've got the time, because why not, right? Soothe Bell, that'll help raise happiness if something evolves for happiness. So if you want Espion or Umbreon, I recommend giving that to your Eevee. 
But yeah, I chose Sylveon just because it's easiest to probably get it in this game. Because the evolutions aren't in Aorus, and I haven't played X and I haven't played Sun or Moon yet. Believe it or not. Do you give me anything? I mean, everyone else is giving me something. Will he give me something if something's like going up by like 15 levels or whatever? Like, oh no, he won't. He can just feel the love. Right. Now then, do I head up? Come on, I don't want to, I don't care about any of this, come on. I mean, you are talking about Mega Revolution, yes, but right now, like, right now, right, that is the way to the Tower of Masters, and we're not going to go over there just yet. I want to see what else is in these houses. No, I'm not trading my citrus berries with your leper berries. Friendship is power. Okay. Let's just go out of here. There's nothing. The gym is right here. That's great. We'll be heading there maybe in the next episode. But yeah, that's um... I want to see every single move that can be used by a Pokemon. Well, you're going to be here a really long time then, because there is a, a, there's a lot of moves out there. A bench. Let's sit on it, just because. And now, the hiker will let me pass. That's very... I have to go all the way around just for him to let me pass. That's very weird. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying the series. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you immediately know when I upload next. Don't forget to like my Facebook page so you know when I want to trade all these Pokemon away. And with that, that's it. So, Shining Eevee 123. Oh yeah, by the way, check out some of the other videos I've done. I almost forgot to mention that. But with that, that's Shining Eevee 123. Over and out.